Good morning everyone. Today I want to share my dragon fruit trellis with all of you. Now, the ones I've seen on the internet, you know, YouTube or looking at pictures, um, you see that they like to use a 4x4 and they either stick it in the ground or they put it in a pot or raise it on some sort of uh, cement sort of platform um, but what I ended up doing was I actually used an auger um, let's see where is my auger auger here we go all right this thing right here so this is an auger um, you literally just oh yeah that didn't work out all right so you literally just um, Put that on, 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 on your drill and start to drill. And it's pretty cool because it digs holes um, uh, straight down. Now, afterwards what I did was I got one of these metal pipes, I don't know what they're called, and put them in the ground. But what I did before you know, I didn't, I didn't put just dirt back in there because it's going to be, you know, that was going to be wobbly, unsecure. So I did add cement. Added cement, dug this about two feet uh, into the ground, and it's pretty secure. See, like, I can move it, it'll shake. But that's, you know, it's no big deal. Um, it's secure in there. It's not going anywhere. So... The way I attach this metal pole onto the wood was, you know, nuts and bolts. Um, you can see the bolt on this side, the nuts on this side. Um, and that's it. That's how it's secure. And on the side, I did end up screwing um, some screws. You can see them. And these screws will actually help me in securing the dragon fruit uh, so that it goes up from the bottom there we go now the reason I did this is because if you have any experience with wood on the floor on the dirt um, it begins to rot over time and as it begins to rot over time, um, you know, wood will break apart, it'll deteriorate, and your structure that you used will no longer be any good. So I didn't try that uh, approach, the four by fours. I mean, yeah, the four by four. Um, so I ended up doing this instead. Attach a piece of a, uh, or not attach, a berry with cement, a uh, pole. Attach it with nuts and bolts. Put screws on. And then, there we go. So this one's one of the very first ones that I used. Uh, I had a different setup over here. Uh, for my chickens, I didn't take out this pole, or this piece of wood. So I decided to bury dragon fruit on it, and it works really good. Um, that's pretty much it. So the way I attached these was, it doesn't really matter where you put the bottom hole in, through the metal pipe and the wood. Um, what matters is the next one. And what I mean by that is, once you attach the bottom piece, all you have to do is lift, lift up the wood and then just drill a hole all the way through the wood, the, sorry, the, the wood and the pipe. Uh, because if you try and measure it ahead of time, drilling holes ahead of time, you might be off, you know, very, very little and you won't be able to get this through it without making the hole any bigger, um, which might cause your system to become wobbly so once again yes it wobbles but it's not gonna fall it's pretty secure simply because the bottom 
you know, the dirt around it is hard or compact, meaning I didn't touch it because of the auger. Just drill a hole straight down, put cement, put the metal pole, attach it, and there you go. So on this one, I did think think of, I thought about uh, adding a cage at the very top, but I decided, ah, eh, let's see what happens. So there it is. Um, hopefully they don't break, but I will end up have. I will have to uh, prune them at some point, but these two, uh, I did two different designs. Cage with recycled wood. And then at the bottom I did use uh, two by sixes. And I drilled these little holes on it. It might be kind of hard to see. It has six holes, each one of them has six holes in it. And the reason I did this is because I actually want to help the, um, I think they're called mason bees or masonry bees or something like that. Um, some people even call them uh, sand bees, the ones that dig holes in the sand. Um, you know, you can actually see this one's already covered up and this one looks like it's covered up. Um, so bees that live by themselves will make a, hole, uh, a home in there. You know, they help with the pollination and stuff. So this is my dragon fruit setup. Um, pretty simple and I think, you know, well, so far it's worked out for me, but as you can see, the wood, the wood's not touching the floor. So I know this, you know, it's not going to rot as if it was buried in the floor, uh, exposed to, you know, a moist environment. Um, because these poles, they belong to um, fence, the fences. And, you know, using fences out there... I don't know how many years they last, but they don't rot or begin to deteriorate. So that's it. Hopefully uh, you learned something productive from here or took something positive. And this is my approach. Thanks everyone.